Hi everyone, welcome to the channel or welcome back if you're a returning watcher. I'm George, I'm the Good Lad Gamer and as you can see things are a little bit different. I'm going to try this video format out a little bit. Please let me know if you like it, if you prefer it, if my face isn't blocking out the good content of the game that I'm sort of trying to make. You can't see the full picture because I'm in the way. So please do let me know if you, if you sort of prefer this layout a bit better. You can see the game, you can see exactly what's happening. I'm not covering up any champions from any of my shard pools or anything like that. So yeah, please do let me know. But enough of that. What are we doing in today's video? We are pulling Sacred Shards. Sacred Shards are the one. I've got 52 on this account. I've got probably about 45 on my other account. And we're doing it all for Vault Keeper Wixwell. So I'll show you my progress with Vault Keeper Wixwell. And we'll go from there, really. So at the moment, I've got two of the epics. I've got two more of the rares ready to make another epic. But on today's video, we should be able to pull ourselves another one of those epics. So in the Wixwell Summon Rush event, we've got a chance to get one of the rares. And that will be after four sacreds, I think it is. So it's 500 points per sacred. So four of those. <laughs> Six of those, sorry. Six shards will be able to pull this guy, uh, Ter Terex, the Relentless. Uh, but if we pull 11 of them, we'll be able to pull another one of the epics, which means I don't have to do a load more events and we can get Wixwell a bit quicker. So as I said before, we've got 52 sacreds. We've probably got around the same amount on my other account. I'm going to pull 11 sacreds on each and fingers crossed we get some good champions, maybe some legendaries. And also while we're at it, I will of course go through the kit of any of the champions that I pull, any of the legendary champions that I pull. Hopefully we can get a bit of a double bang for our buck. We'll be, we'll be completing the summoning rush for Wixwell and we'll also be able to get a couple of legendaries out of it, maybe one or two. Um, I don't have a clue who to pick from here. Um... I'm not really interested in any of these other champions. Just this new one. I don't know what his or her name is. Don't have a clue. And we'll go for a Sand Lash because I've got all of those three epics. I don't really need to think about them again. So we'll confirm them and then we'll get into pulling the shards. And before we get into pulling shards, guys, if you enjoy my content and want to see more of it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Subscribing makes a huge amount of difference to me and it really shows me that I'm making content that people actually enjoy and want to see more of. I've currently got about 220, maybe 230 subscribers and my big milestone, the big one that I'm going for is 250. If I can get 250 subscribers, I know that I'm making content that people actually enjoy and want to see more of. So if you like my content and want to see more of it, like the video, subscribe to my channel. Let's get into shard number one. So we're going to do 11 shards on each account. That's more than I normally do. I normally reserve sort of seven-ish for summon rush events, but I'm really going to go for it today. And we're going to go for 11. And I've got an Elfrig and I don't know which account. Elfrig is the last champion for the Lady Makage fusion that I need on one of my accounts. And it's not this one. That is absolutely good. So that's my like third elf rig on this account. I need these two champions. I need them. It's the last one on the Lady Makage fusion. But hopefully I can pull an elf rig on my other account, which is the last one that I need. And we can have our first mythical, which is that's pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. But on to the next sacred shard. Come on. A legendary would be really nice. A sand lashed. Why not? So we got sand lashed straight away. That was the... Uh, the progressive percentage chance, but I'm not interested in her really. Uh, we've got a Fenshi moving on. I'm not interested in epics. I only want to see legendary, so it's probably going to be a short video because I can almost guarantee I'm not going to get any. Drake, not interested. I'm not going to get any legendaries because I got such good luck on my such good luck on my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, I pulled six legendaries in the same video out of Ancient Shards. So if you want to see me shocked and a loss for words, then go and watch that video. We've got an Allure, which is actually, Allure is probably a legendary in an epic skin. She's a great champion, great for loads of different content in the game. Uh, most notably, and maybe not anymore, but most notably Fire Knight, because she can reduce the Fire Knight's turn meter. Old Gruckus, not interested in Old Gruckus. Moving on. Allure's the only one so far that I would even pay any attention to. Another epic, Gorgorab, the mid-game arbiter. 
fully outclassed by Arbiter. Don't need another Gore Grab on my accounts. I don't even know if I've ever built one out, to be honest. And another epic. This is looking bad. Yellow Grinner. Yellow Grinner can do one. Go away. On to the next one. Is this the last one? I don't even know how many I've done at this one, at this point. Uh, Kanichi. Kanichi, not interested. It's got some cool claws, though. I like the look of that champion. I could uh, I could do with some of those claws myself to battle people off. Another Sandlash Survivor. And a legendary... What's going on? Another Allure. Allure? 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 Right, and that's all 11 on the Galactic account. We didn't get any legendaries. We'll go into the summon rush, just make sure we got all of the points that we needed. So there we go. There's the epic. There's the rare. I'll put everything else up. I am going to use this energy straight away. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to be doing the champion training tournament uh, and working on the other tournaments. I've done the champion training on one of my accounts, but not on the other. So let's go on to the other account and we'll do exactly the same over there. All right, we're on the Galec account. Don't mess with me game. I need legendaries. We'll do the same selection of this progressive one. I, I'm not too interested in the other champions. And we'll just go for a Sandlash because why not? I've got all three of those legendaries. I don't need them. Uh, we've got 44 sacreds. I'm going to pull 11 on this account. Uh, and fingers crossed we're going to get a legendary. So on to shard number one of 11. If I don't get a legendary, I'm going to be really upset. But this is what happens when you pull outside of a times two event. It's, it is, you know, it's unfortunate. As I said in my last video, I got six legendaries in the same video in the same pool. Don't get me wrong, I pulled a load of ancient shards. But still, six legendaries is well against the odds in that video. So I'm not expecting great things from this video. But it's always, it's always a dream. You know, it's always a dream that we get. We get the legendaries that we want. So we got a Sikara. Not interested. Not interested in epics. Not interested. Another epic. It's old Rock Breaker. Not interested. Although Rock Breaker, I think people have found like sort of a hidden talent with him. What's going on here? Did you see that? That made me nervous then. That made my heart skip a beat. At Achak. The Wandering. Not interested. Come on, another epic, Pitless One, can't remember if he was Pitless One or Faceless One or whatever their names are, another epic, and a Berg, Burn, Burn, Burn and Giri, Burn and Giri, who's actually a really good champion, he's really good for sort of early game Bommel. Uh, because he heals whenever a champion dies. Uh, so heals this champion by 50% of their max HP whenever an ally or an enemy dies. So he's really good for bomb on those bombs because he gains health as they blow up and do damage. Uh, but he, you need some pretty serious gear if you're going to use him in hard Doom Tower for the bomb all rotation. Um, so he is outclassed by Lady Annabelle at that point. Uh, but they both do this, a similar job for a similar reason. Um, so if you can build him out, if, if you're struggling with Bommel, then he's definitely a champion that you could use going forward. But I have, the, I have him on both accounts and I don't need him. So moving on. Another epic. Luthia. <laughs> Luthia, sure. Uh, moving on. A legendary, come on. Visionary, can't see much of those glasses on though. Moving on. Woo! Not a legendary. Sandlash, we got the progressive champion. Not interested in Sandlash at all. One, one legendary out of 22 shards, that would be nice. Uh, Corgan, Corgan. My Somerset accent really comes out when I pronounce these names. Corgan the Crowned, moving on. I don't care. I don't care about you. Scabrius? Scabrius? Scabrius. I reckon he's a scab, isn't he? He's scabby. Nazana? Nazana. Nazana. And that is it. That's it. What a dreadful, dreadful shard pool video. I, you know, if you've watched this, I'm sorry. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry because that was, that was dreadful. But we got the champion we wanted. We didn't get the double whammy. 
Moving on, we'll get all of these and we'll just check the Lady Mikage fusion just because I wasn't really paying attention to the uh, to the res or the epics that we got. So yeah, on my Kale account, we still just need that Elfrig. I can't believe I've never had him on this account. Um, but yeah, he's the last one and then I can get my first mythical. I'm so excited for my first mythical. Um, but, you know... Who knows what we're going to get in the future. And that is it from me today, guys. I'm just going to be spending the weekend doing the rest of the different events and tournaments on for the for the Vault Keeper Wixwell Fusion. Um, I'm pretty, I'm doing pretty well on both accounts. I'm pr pretty equal on both accounts. But obviously, I now have an extra rare and an extra epic to go towards him. So not many more. I mean, one more event to be able to get another rare to be able to fuse the epic and then i'll be able to fuse him so really for a free one i'm going to be completing the classic uh the classic arena tournament because that's like a free one as you can see i'm already making moves in it um and really those tournaments if you're playing the game and if you're if you're doing your your different arena coins every day then you're going to naturally be able to complete this tournament so they're pretty easy they're pretty good but that's my progress no legendaries today all ethics which is dreadful to see but it does give me some more food in the future so I can build Wixwell out as soon as I get him or any other champions that I might get in the future. And please do let me know, do you like this new layout? Because I'm I'm a bit dubious about it, but at the same time, I don't want to be covering up my shard pool videos. When I pull a times 10, when I pull, you know, uh, a times uh, a summon 10, you can't see in the bottom corner because my big head is in the way. So what I've tried to do is sort of maximize what you guys can see in the game content and then have my little pretty face in the corner. So let me know if you enjoy it. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.